Hello there, I'm Andrew Hill, and welcome to some Hearts of Iron 4 playing No Step Back. In this new wonderful DLC, I'm going to be starting a new series, playing as the Tsarists, Russia, Tsarist Monarchist guys, and making amazing, super heavy tanks. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel so you can be aware of new videos, and let me know down below what kind of stuff you're going to play in your own games, because this DLC is really good. Like, genuinely, I'm really, really enjoying it. I have a video on my channel right now, playing as the Trotskyites, and just exploring the Civil War there, but that was easy. That was an easy civil war. This is something different. As the Tsarists, you have to start in Chita, or Ch Chita, which is like here or something. It's somewhere terrible. And essentially, you have to fight from Siberia. It's really quite bad. You have to push all the way around. There's problems and issues. We are playing on non-historical, but I am on Iron Man. I wanted to see what would happen. My worry is if Japan tries to invade me, I might have to restart, which would be very unpleasant. But we'll make it work. So we're going to go down the standard steps right now of just getting the same text that I always get. At the very first thing I want to do, I want to rush down the Civil War. I really do. I want to have it done and dusted. And then I can be going down the eco tree and making sure I can fit a variety of awesome things. I also want to be getting this malice as soon as possible, which is daily communism support. Like, look at this tree. Isn't it just incredible? Problem is, is that I need to be careful. I can't get into a war before finishing these trees. I need to finish these. They're so good. Like consumer goods and mill constructions, they're, they're amazing. But I want, it just takes a long time to get there. I don't really have the capacity to do this. I wish I could do this, but I don't have 17 freaking factories. But it's fine. It It's fine. Um, I was tempted to maybe try and get two civvies straight away, just so I could try and build up. Now, I'm just going to go straight down for beaten, not defeated. I'm going to go right into the Civil War. Communists have led our once proud country down a treacherous path. The countries at our borders will sense the weakness inherent in the regime and pounce. This will give us a lot of glorious things. Give us that political power and allow us to really start doing things. Now, we will be forced to be in Chita. And we do get two mill factors for free if we do this. I'll explain this in a little while what exactly we need. But it's tricky. It really is. We do get some spontaneous units. And we can do actually quite a lot of like unique things. We do get infantry equipment. And we also get railway and supply hubs around the headquarters state. So this is where we start. But we do want to maybe increase infrastructure just a bit. Problem is there's basically no building slots anywhere here. And that really sucks. There's just not enough. And we don't have enough time to do it. But there is a little bit of bigger space here there is a four here as well as some oil so what we're going to do is i'm going to quickly build a little bit of that and we're going to just cram out some some civilian factories that's probably the best i can hope for i'm going to be building uh, at least a decent amount of trucks some support equipment and artillery not very many fighters honestly Straight away, I should get a really nice amount of extra civvies. There we go. Beautiful. Oh my god, yeah. So I'm also gonna quickly... Because infrastructure now doesn't... It only really increases the supply power. Oh, it does increase divisional speed and raw resource extraction. I'm gonna build one here as well. I think that's a good idea. And I'm gonna turn the music down just a little bit more. And we're gonna get straight into it. Now, we do have units here who are a little bit low on various things. Supply status is 39%. So, we need to get these guys out of there. Unfortunately. I'm also going to get an agency. Because I want to see what Japan does. Because if Japan does some sneaky crap, I am screwed, let me tell you. As you can see, our supply is pretty bad. Hey, what's up, Elizabeth? How's it going, bud? We are actively losing supply every second. Yeah. So we are losing equipment all over the place because of overstacking. Look at this. Yeah. Just comparing all those different supplies. Yeah, this is no good. 
Okay, I'm just going to basically stack up these guys anywhere that doesn't have any supply issues. Somewhere like Moscow would pr probably be the best bet. Uh, as soon as the Civil War happens, all the troops do basically just get... um. They get divided pretty equally. So we don't actually have to worry about this. So it's fine. Hey, thank you very much for that follow, Carl Janssen. Really appreciate that, my bud. Welcome to the stream. Lovely to have you here. Hope you're doing well today. We're also going to take a look at the railways. And as you can see, we have a decent amount of supply. So we're going to put our guys just kind of on this line. And just let them stand on that. That should make it so we have a little bit less of massive loss. If you please. Huzzah. It's alright that we don't really care about where the guys go eventually. We are going to be pushing forward towards getting Pete not defeated. We don't really want to be going any any eco laws. We want to save every ounce of political power that we have. And we got to save people from the purges because the purges suck, dude. It is indeed the new DLC, Carl Johnson. It is indeed. Hope you're well, my friend. Okay. Now I'm hoping... I'm hoping against hope. Oh, the paranoia isn't doesn't start when beaten, not defeated starts. That would be very unpleasant for me. The other thing that we could have done is we could have gone for the infrastructural focus at the very beginning of the tree, which gives it to Nico, Azerbaijan, and Stavropol. Good. Okay, so that might not have been terrible. It's only got two building slots. It only gives you like a little bit of infrastructure. It's kind of useless, to be honest. It's a giant tree, my friend. It's so big. I love it. We just moved our chaps over here. Please don't go down the route of uh, being pissed off at me. I beg you. If they go support the Kadobos and get for a war the Soviet Union, like, you lose. <laughs> That's basically all that happens. All right, beaten but not defeated. Let's go down Article 124. Stability. New constitution will contain an article guaranteeing freedom of religion for all Soviet citizens. Okay, crap. That actually starts the paranoia system now. If you start the paranoia system here, it actually does gauge it. I think I might prefer the infrastructure. All right, quick redo. I'm going to actually do the eco-focuses first. Okay, there we go. I restarted, and I just changed the focus to the exact same things, but I just made it so that I did heavy industry focus as well. We're also going to chuck an agency spy once he's recruited over to Japan. My ardent hope is that they do not go down that route and destroy me. But we'll see. It looks like we're good. We're building a little bit of infrastructure in a couple different states uh, for the specific purpose of making sure that we can grab some spicy things they're building infrastructure in buryata why am i building infrastructure in buryata there's only one freaking factory that can be put there dude oh it's two that's why we're going to grab a couple civvies, so we do at least have a few civilian factories. It's a very good idea to have at least a few civilian factories at the beginning of the Civil War. Otherwise, you might be in trouble. And we have nowhere near enough for the five-year plan, so we're just going to ignore that. But we did the two. I wanted the infrastructure. We're going to get that infrastructure now. And then we're going to be able to grab some awesome things. And Buryata is going to give us a little bit more steel, chromium, and tungsten. This is worth it, I think. Um, yeah, we'll keep we'll keep building those two civvies. I do want a couple civvies here. Awesome. It's got to be real cautious, like. Apparently, we still have some supply issues. Please stop doing that. We're just about to get our first spy, and hopefully we can use him to prove that we don't have to restart the freaking game from Japan being a douchebag. 
Okay. The German Reich has just declared war on the German Empire. It's a German civil war. Oh my god. That's amazing. I love it. I love it so much. That's fantastic. Oh my god. Okay. Um, now we're going to go straight down the beautiful route of beaten but not defeated. Get a little bit of political power. And first of all, get our very first spy. Some of these guys are actually really decent. Infiltrator and double agent. British double agent. An infiltrator, infiltration effectiveness. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And we're going to quickly send him to Japan. So we can know straight away. But now Turkey has once again seized control of the Bosporus. They literally only ever refuse. So I will do this so I can get the 5% war support. And they compromise. So you basically just get 5% war support for free. Why on earth would you not agree to that? It's so useful. Like, my god, that's good. Uh, and we now do actually have some slight... As soon as oh, the infrastructure is actually done. So now we can grab... A little bit better infrastructural bonuses. 60. Beautiful. I'm just going to try and only build factories that are right here. Because that's where we are. And we need to only build factories that are relevant to us. Because we need them. Hello, Consular Gaming. How are you today? The Civil War will be delayed just a little bit. That's okay. Oh my god, they've gone the unthinkable option. Look. On the unthinkable option. Oh my god, they're going to create a communist faction. That's amazing. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. That's amazing. Okay. Factories are beginning. Ah, oh, it's going to be awesome. Get a couple civvies done. And then we're going to rock straight through. We're saving all of our political power. We're not touching anything. And we're preparing for the civil war. I am absolutely amazed that they've gone... German military junta. All right. Oh, so it actually is just triggered by the date? Really? Well, that's interesting. But there we go. Comrade Joseph Stalin has noted growing factionalism. The news comes a bit of a surprise to many party believe the threat of the party split ended with Trotsky's exile. But we must always be vigilant for saboteurs and wreckers. So we now do have political paranoia. All right. This is the big boy. Here we are. He is now getting 2% political paranoia, which is very annoying. If he gets above 25, he will start to randomly purge. Any more is more likely for a purge to happen, and over 75, he will great purge. And over 90, he can start the civil war all on his own, which is very unpleasant. Get all the standard stuff. I'm interested to see, do I care about the fact that they've gone the German military, German? The German military junta? They go free elections, it doesn't matter, though they can make a really a really amazing uh, union. The turn to the Kaiser. Yeah, they do have Great Red Menace. And Bulwark against Bolshevism. They can actually make really big problems for us, and they can finally go down and tackle the communist threat. But my hope is that they will at least go down some of the military routes first. Oh boy. Gotta do those purges. Catching up on our equipment as fast as we can. We can make it work. So there's beaten but not defeated. It'd be great. We're getting towards the Civil War. I'm gonna go Article 124 straight away to try to get daily communism support for a reduction. Uh, it's not going to be that important, but it is going to help us get towards non-aligned power just that little bit faster. If Marx lend us ideas, it is the role to play in Soviet society. We're going to grab that immediately. And we're going to set up secret headquarters right now. Opposition cell established, ensuring the state's loyalty in case of a civil war. I'm just going to delay doing this just yet because I don't 
want to have to f fight for it just yet. Actually, the more time I can spend gra grabbing things, the better. We're going to grab that straight away. Obviously, our political power is pretty low. But we can get a lot more quite quickly. God, I can't believe they've gone this route. Just amazing. I love it. That's fantastic. Annoyingly, it looks like we're not actually getting much from trade. Nor I, my other game playthroughs, I've definitely got a lot more from trade than that. That's okay. Civil War will kick off soon. We can forge some reports in... Because you want to wait until it actually hits 20. Because once it's 20, he can do purges. He can also force purges uh, by going down his own focus, which you don't actually get to see. Because he's deleted the Trotsky path now. Um, once he goes down the Stalin Constitution, he gets a little bit more stuff. But he can also do the Terrorist Center, and it's an unavoidable first Moscow trial. You pretty much always get that, but it does reduce a lot of paranoia. You wanna, you wanna get people out of the way. You need covert operations really fast so you can frame people, otherwise he's gonna start grabbing stuff before you even have a chance. And you do not want that. You don't, you don't want that. Okay. National Unification is probably the better one to get two mill factories. So, this is really good and it gives you fascism. But I don't, this is the thing, you can choose between fascism or non-aligned from some of these focuses. But you are going to be non-aligned. Um, oh, I see. If you dismantle it, you become fascists. That's it, yeah. This is the one you want to do if you want to become fascists. And you can actually get some really, really nice stuff. You get... Oh, wait. No, no, it's okay. These are either or. Rightful heir to the Empire. And Slavic. You gotta go third Rome. I mean, come on. So, church candidate gives you non-aligned. And rightful heir gives you an insane pile of focuses. And third Rome is Legacy of Rome. We're support Okay, so that is unaligned. We want to always just go unaligned. Because that's what we're going for. We're going for the unaligned. You can go Pan-Slavic Nationalism, which is definitely the fascist one. But we're not going to be going... We can actually get a lot. Half of current non-fascist support is applied as a stability penalty. Ooh. Okay, so you actually need to decide here. Okay, so now we do have to go Romanov Rest uh, Reconstruction and then go down this route. It does mean we don't get Slavic stuff and, and Slavic nationalism and free annexations. But it also means that we do get the 20% super heavy tank chassis production cost reduction, which is amazing. And I want to do that. I want to be third Rome with super heavy tanks. That's Article 124, so we got to go non-aligned. So now communism is slowly, slowly going to go away. So we're going to grab Unification of Exiles. If many people for exile, ba -ba -ba -ba, 75 political power. They have interactions with foreign powers for aid. It's going to be pretty vital. And it is going to give 10 political paranoia. And I'm tempted to actually get... Oh, why is my camera doing this? Fix that in the next episode. Yugoslavia recognizes the Soviet Union. Excuse me? Today's announcement that Yugoslavia will establish former relations. Oh my god, they're going to become communist. Ha, they're going to become communist. That's tight. Thanks a lot, bro. I appreciate that. I really do. Um, I'm going to go disp I mean, I actually prefer going dispersed. I know you lose 5%. But the fact that you do get the profi the efficiency retention is just super good. And the bombing vulnerability. I mean, I can build a lot of factories. You know what? I'm going to go concentrated. I'm so freaking big. I don't care. I'm going to go concentrated. Do I want to go concentrated? Efficiency retention. Really good. I think it makes up for it. Let's do it. I think you're supposed to always go disperse, though. I want the 5% factory output, honestly. I want to be able to churn out super heavy tanks like nobody's business. And I can't play with the army command thing because I have to save literally all of my political power. 
I want to be doing the Forge Satisfactory production reports as soon as I am able because I can't do it again for 180 days. So I want to use it as soon as it becomes relevant. See, he's assuring loyalty of a re of an admiral. Literally the moment I kept it, I can do it, I will. Get that paranoia right down. Come on, buddy. Nice, now it's zero again. It takes a long time to be able to use it. Alright, that's it for the episode, guys. This is the very first episode of the series. We're in June. The Civil War is preparing. I think I'll be there by this time in 37. Hopefully I can have it finished by 39 so I can begin finishing up the eco tree and working everything out. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you do leave a like and comment below. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And check out Patreon if you want to support me further. But I was Algernon Tindaby, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. It's not going to stop.